Yeah, so I'm working on the Northern Line extension, which is a new um, a connection to Northern Line. It's 3.2 kilometres long in total, um, with two stations, one at Nine Elms and one at Battersea. So I'm working on Battersea Development, which is phase two of the whole development. Um, and phase two is the actual main power station, which is what we're building here at the moment. I always knew I wanted to get into construction in some area, some way, shape or form. Um, and I started off looking at the courses in uni, so I looked at civil engineering, I looked at quantity surveying. Um, but I actually did construction management in uni, so it was half management and it was half engineering. Um, so it gave you like a broad overview. I um, started with a company, really enjoyed it and then just worked up to senior project manager, which is what I do now. My job title here is actually a technical coordinator. I started at a development called Riverlight, now I'm here at Prince Wales Drive. I decided to get some life experience, so I started working at an engineering consultancy uh, as a document controller, and 10 years later, and a lot of hard work, I've got to where I am at St William. I'm working on Heathwell Pumping Station. Um, we're building a new sewer for London. Um, on this site, we are building two shafts for that to intercept the water or the sewerage running out into the River Thames so that it doesn't pollute the river and produces a better quality of life for the whole of London. I wanted to go to university um, but didn't necessarily want to do a degree which was singularly maths or physics. I enjoyed both of them but I didn't want to do something that was solely focused on them and thought engineering was a really good option because it takes good parts of both of them and puts them together. We are an embassy garden job. Uh, I've been here from two years ago. I actually see everything what is building, like from the bottom, from the piling to the building now. We are currently doing um, 11 floors building. I studied in Romania, but uh, a couple of years ago I decided to move uh, in London. I had the opportunity to start with GRL, like a junior engineer. And uh, it was nice because they take care of me and uh, they teach me what actually the work must be done. So as a civil engineer we work on infrastructure, so you can work in tunnelling as I do, um, construction to housing, roads, uh, bridges, dams, the list is kind of endless. Currently I'm working on the cross passages, so they are passages between the, our two tunnels. Um, so we are mining, mining them at the moment and constructing them. So it's a lot of being on site, it's a lot of kind of hands-on experience and very much learning as you go. I'm a civil engineer. On this project I'm a site engineer, so I'm basically concerned about with buildings, roads and bridges. Whereas on Tideway I'm involved in the setting out and the layout of the shafts for the project that we're going to be doing. Um, we're doing some underground tunnels, so I'll be involved in setting out and the location and line of the sprayed concrete tunnels. Um, so that's where you basically spray concrete onto the walls of the tunnel so that it doesn't cave in. Um, so that's what I'm doing mostly and also just controlling the works on site and making sure they're safe. I am in charge with all ground works on site. I also help the project manager with the, all the health and safety, uh, health and safety documents, briefings, induction, induct, induct people, toolbox talking. I'm also in charge with the ordering still for the slab. I need to make sure that it's coming on time. So for me, the most exciting thing is seeing your hard work being built. And it's so nice to see at the end of a development, see people, the end users, customers, clients, using the space and enjoying the facilities that you've installed. Every day is exciting because every day there's something new, something completely different going on um, and a new problem to solve. And that's what's really exciting because no two days are the same. Um, you come to work and there's a plan and everyone's working to it, but then something happens or something changes and it's down to you and your team to help resolve the problem, which is fun. I suppose just the impact it's going to have on people at the end of the day. So this is going to provide transport links to um, to everyone living in Battersea and Nine Elms, kind of help connect and and help London grow as a whole. Um, so yeah, it's the impact it's going to have. Every day you're learning new new things. Uh, every day is a new challenge. For example, we don't know what to do, and everybody's thinking and getting with solutions. Uh, we are like a great team on site. The fact that you can have so many things going on at once means you're always busy there's never a dull day um, and it's just a really good chance to be creative and finding out different ways of solving a problem. There's a lot of university courses out there but there's also different apprenticeships or cadetships from running from companies so look at what they're offering see what 
interests you, there's all sorts you can get involved in. So yeah, find out what, what you like, basically. <laughs> My main regret is not start starting my studies sooner, so I would give any advice to anyone who is interested in engineering, especially civil engineering, to just go full throttle because the possibilities of career growth and job satisfaction are endless. They give you many opportunities to work in different kinds of jobs, different projects, big projects that later on will be like very famous and you can see very proud. Uh, an engineer is earning quite a good, good money, so you are okay from all the, all of the aspects. If you're really passionate about something, you can do anything that you want in construction. And every single role is just as important as each other. So whether you go into civil engineering or construction management or um, you know, any bio engineering, mechanical engineering, it's all relevant and you can go into a broad spectrum of things.